Greetings, uh, learners. Uh, you are watching this video because I sent you a communication that said for some reason or another, um, you didn't do the voice recording correctly. Um, one of the instances in which I would have you watch this video is that you did do a recording and you might have done it on your own computer and then uploaded it. Um, but there are other reasons why you might need to watch this video. So basically, I'm going to show you start to finish what you need to do every time you have to submit a voice assignment. It's very easy. Here we are in the course. We are going to do, we are going to submit a voice assignment. Let's say it's the 1.05 voice activity. You'll notice there are two identical uh, links here. 1.05 voice activity, 1.05 voice activity. Whenever you do a voice activity, it's a two-part process. Part one is here, part two is here. You do both together. So you click here with the blue globe and a new window will open for you. It should look like this. Uh, this window may pop up. You should click on the X. If you ever see a screen that looks like this, you want to hit this back button so you can get back to the screen that looks like this. You're here on the screen. If there are, if there's a, a recording playing, that's probably one of your classmates. You want to come down here and press the pause button. Right now, this is a play button, but you can pause it, press it, and um, that will pause it. So you want to make sure that you click that so that it's paused and you can see the play button. If you don't pause this, then sooner or later it's going to go back to this screen again. And you don't want it on that screen. You want it on this screen. Okay. Now you want to record your voice. You'll notice down below here there is the link that says comment. That's what you are doing here. You are making a comment. So you want to click on the comment button. You don't want to click down here. That's not going to do anything for you. It's going to, this is a slideshow you're looking at. All this does is start and stop the slideshow. You want to be on this slide where you can see this comment button. You want to click it and then you'll be given a series of tools in which you can record your voice or a couple tools. Um, here you can click on the telephone. I don't expect many students to do it this way, but if you wanted to, you could. You can click on this telephone, put in your telephone number, the system will call you back, and then you can do your voice recording over the telephone. You just follow the instructions on the menu on the telephone. Um, I, the only reason why I think you would do this is if you wanted to get an assignment done, and for some reason you didn't have access to the computer, or the microphone was broken, and you had to buy a new, new microphone, and you were waiting for that. Um, if that's ever the case, you can do it by phone. But I expect the, last, uh, the vast majority of you all to come here and click on this record button. When you click there, a little window will pop up, click allow, and as soon as you click allow, it is now recording your voice. It is recording my voice as we speak. When you're done, you click stop recording, and as soon as you click allow, it is now recording your voice. It will play back the recording. You can listen to it if you like it click on save. You saw in the previous window there, there was a save button. If you like it, you click save. If you don't like it, see, I'll do it again. All right, you click stop recording. If you yeah. like it, you click save. If you don't All like right, you it, you click cancel. Simple as that. Um, so you click save. I'm going to click cancel, but you would click save. So now, as soon as you click save, your voice recording is now here and I can come and listen to it. Okay, But there's still one more step. Do not forget step two. Do not forget step two. Do not forget step two. So what we want to do is we want to go back to the course. And there we are. And so what we just did is we went to this blue globe and recorded our voice. Now what you want to do is come here click here. Now create a document. In the document, on your own computer, create a word processing document. 
that says I have completed the 1.05 voice activity. In this case, it's the 1.05 voice activity. You can see up here, okay, whatever voice activity. I have completed it. One sentence. Save it as your last name hyphen in 1.05 voice activity in this case. Right. Then here on your screen, you won't see send for marking. You'll see a link that says browse. Click on browse and then a window will pop up and you will go find that document that you just created with the one sentence in it. Select the document, then there'll be another button here that says upload and then you upload it. Submit it. Once it's submitted, now you are done doing your voice assignment. This is the way that we do our voice assignments in VLAX. Um, so from here on out, please do your voice recordings in this way. If you have a problem recording your voice, you click on that little blue globe and something doesn't happen like you saw it happen in this video, then either contact me or contact tech support immediately and we will help you resolve the problem. Uh, gracias y adios.